Microfresh is an invisible antibacterial treatment that promotes freshness. Since 2007, we've opened overseas offices in China, India, Portugal, Vietnam, Singapore, and we've just opened in the US. My background is from a council estate. My mum was an immigrant from Jamaica, single parent with five children. During school, I had a short attention span, and I was always doing stuff to interrupt the class, but I loved chemistry. And we did the crystal garden growing crystals and soda glass. And again, I just loved it. It seemed like magic to a child. I remember my chemistry teacher saying to me, if you want to make something of yourself, then this is a subject for you because you can actually sell through your chemistry exams. And so I did. I used to work for Echo Shoes in Denmark and Echo had a problem with mold on leather. made Shoes made in Asia and shipped to the West. So when I came back and formed my own company, I thought I'd work on a product to prevent mold growth on leather. We then evolved into the antibacterial treatment which prevents odours and bacterial growth for bedding, textiles, towels, bath mats and also footwear. Stops nasty like MRSA, E. coli, salmonella. So we now go into the food industry and healthcare. In January 2016, John Lewis launched Mother and Baby Bedding, so you can imagine the amount of testing we had to go through. We went through skin tests in contact with the baby's skin. That range has absolutely transformed the market. Working with Byron, this massive ball of energy, he spreads his energy wherever he goes. When he walks through that door, you feel like you can run the world. How did I fund Microsoft in the early days? The short answer is, um, I didn't. I did what everybody else does when they don't have any money, is you scale your life down accordingly. If you do it for the money, a lot of people give up really early. If you do it for the freedom, then you're in it for the long run. It takes a huge amount of resilience. And you get knocked down regularly. Anybody that looks at an entrepreneur and says, wow, it's okay for you, has no idea where you've come from. When I go back home to where I grew up, it's a, it's a, it's a strange feeling. But it, just feels like this is where everything started. It just makes me think anybody can achieve stuff. You know, if you look at my background, talk about the American dream, which is really annoying because there is a British dream.